how do you create a successful and effective lead magnet in 2023 to get your audience from non-engagers to engagers? Well, there's a couple of things that you want to keep in mind. First of all, the whole point of a lead magnet is to get someone to literally just move from someone who knows about your business. Uh, they know about the solution you offer and they haven't taken action yet to someone who's actually entering your customer cycle. They're taking engagement to accept value from you and start to be marketed and be open to receiving more value from your company and start to move through that customer cycle that you've laid out. So how do you create something of enough value to move someone from, hey, you know, I understand who you guys are. I understand what you do but I haven't taken any action yet because there's not enough value mm -hmm. there to, hey, this has been enough value that now I want to continue looking at more of your products and services. Well, for me, it's actually very simple. And I help my clients with this a lot. And it comes down to, can you deliver something that's super actionable to your customer at such an amazing price that they can go out it's a no brainer for them to buy that solution, attempt to apply it to their own situation. And if it works out great, they got so much value from it, they can come back to you to get maybe a higher level solution, right? Or it doesn't work mm -hmm. out because they don't know how to apply it directly to their business. And they come back to you and they say, hey, I tried this. It didn't necessarily work the way I thought or the way you said. Can you help me go ahead and apply this for my own business or my own situation? And so that is really as simple as I can put it. When you're coming up with your lead magnet, your value proposition, it should be something that is super actionable, super affordable but also should be super automated for your business. So you really need to do some thinking on what are some of the biggest problems that our customers have before they even become customers and what are their biggest concerns and what is the best solution that we can give them so that way they can see success based on the value, based on the solution we brought to them. But it's not so much success and so much of a solution that they don't need us for anything else. Now, if you've mapped out your customer journey, if you've mapped out how customers start to engage with you and then where they end up, this should actually make sense. And the other big thing you wanna keep in mind for your lead magnet is that it should always lead to the next problem and solution that you offer. So what does this mean? Well, your lead magnet should solve a problem for your customer. So that way they have now a new set of problems, which means they're growing, right? Not that we just created more problems for them, but now they have a new set of problems in which they feel happy and confident to engage with your business, you know, to take part of the solutions that you have to provide for them. And this is how you start to move people through that customer cycle and how you can get them from a low price point lead magnet or introductory offer or product into a much higher premium status customer at your highest level of service offerings. Now, again, remember, this is the lead magnet. And so this is going to be targeting the audience that is not yet engaging with you. So remember, we want to make sure that this is super, super impactful, super actionable and super valuable. If you can solve one of the biggest problems that your customers are experiencing in their situations, you are going to create so much loyalty. You're gonna create so much value and especially if you can do it at a very, very low price point basically the minimum price point it takes to obtain that person as a customer of your lead magnet. So for example, if you're running ads and your cost per lead is X dollars and that X dollars gets you a lead, that's the minimum that you should offer your lead magnet for, in my opinion. This way you're offering the most value possible at the lowest investment point and you're gonna blow away your customers so much that they're going to absolutely want to come back and do business with you because now they've grown, they have a new set of problems, they need another solution, and you were able to help them so much and so affordably and effectively with the lead magnet that now they're going to definitely come back to you and want your help for the bigger problems that they have, and this is how you can then convert them into those higher tier customers.
I'm glad you're enjoying the video. If you need help with hiring, training, or managing your VAs, make sure you click the link in the description below to check out our free VA hiring workshop. If you need one-on-one -on -one help with me, click the link to schedule an appointment to see how I can help. Now, as far as format for your lead magnet, this is solely depending on who your customer is and how they engage with your business already or if they've engaged with your business already. So you should be having a discussion and you should be analyzing how your current audience engages with you, follows you and what kind of content they absorb. So for example, do you put out videos and maybe you have a YouTube channel or maybe you just put out videos on social media as stories or reels and your audience engages with that content? Well, then maybe your lead magnet should be some kind of video series or video course that you give them. Do you send out emails and your audience really responds to your emails? Do you have a blog? where you create content and update your audience on things that are happening, then maybe that's how you should create a lead magnet. And maybe not necessarily a blog, but maybe an article that you give them, a how-to guide. How does your audience engage with your business? How do they receive updates? How do they receive content? What kind of information are they absorbing? What problems do they have? This is how you would actually create the structure of your lead magnet. So it all comes back down to your audience. When you put your audience first, creating a lead magnet really isn't that difficult. It's usually just more scary and nerve wracking for business owners because generally they are nervous about giving out such a tremendous amount of value for very little return on investment. When in reality, that is just short term thinking. Long term thinking is going to be, hey, I'm planting a seed. I'm bringing tremendous value. And when they have bigger problems that they need my help solving, I will help them and they'll think of me first. And honestly, that is where most businesses like to be. Most business owners, most businesses like to be focused on their premium top tier customers because they are the most loyal, they stick around the longest, and they pay the most amount of money, and they're usually the most enjoyable to work with. So if you want to start creating a lead magnet, if you're struggling on figuring out how to start putting it together, take a look at your audience. What are their problems? What are their concerns? What solutions would be perfect for where they are as far as the customer cycle and whether they know about your business, whether they know about a solution, whether they know about the product for the solution or service for the solution, and how are they receiving content now? How do they like to learn? How do they like to research? How do they like to get new pieces of information? And that is going to be how you would create the lead magnet that's going to be effective and help your customers, help your audience become customers and really see your business as a point of authority and having expertise and being the go to solution for solving all of their future problems. Hey, guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for tuning in. If you got some value to that, make sure you go ahead and let me know by leaving a like. I'd love to hear your thoughts questions and comments down in the comment section and of course make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos we release three videos a week one on sales one on marketing and one on VAs and of course if you want to check out some of our services or products check out the links in the description as well as you can find information on one-on-one -on -one coaching and consulting with me where we can dive into the specific strategies and solutions that you need in order to take your business from six figures to seven figures or low seven figures to more seven figures.